Loki is here and I am excited about it. You know, it's so crazy because I didn't watch any trailers for this show and I have to say that this first episode was probably better than any first episode of any of the Marvel shows that have come out so far. It didn't leave me confused at the end. I didn't, like, all the questions I kind of want answered were answered in the first episode. And then it just left me wanting more at the end of this first episode. Uh, they did an amazing job, and it's funny. It brought back one of our favorite characters from the Marvel Universe. But before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Beard or Blurred on YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. All right, let's get started. So Loki starts off at about the hour 16 minute mark of Endgame, right? We all know what happened. Tony Stark gets knocked out by the Hulk and then Loki disappears, apparates with the Tesseract, right? And then, you know, right when we think that Loki is about to go on a crusade of mischief across the world, nope, he is instantly stopped by the Time Force Power Rangers, which... <laughs> I have never seen someone get their time smacked out their ass. And I love this, the, the hunter role that uh, I think her name is Wunmi Mosaku. She's doing a great job at her role. I actually love her during the entire show. She's just been great this first episode. But yeah, the Time Force Power Rangers take them in. The Time Force Power Rangers work for an organization called the TVA, the Time Variance Authority. They're more like time ice, in my personal opinion. I mean, despite this little instructional video they use to try to romanticize the process, they literally take you because you violated time, which you probably didn't even know you did. They collar you, so you can't do anything. So if you have powers, you can't use those. They arrest you, they put you through a process, they check you, they check your aura, and then they take you for a judge for something you don't even know what you did. And then they just tell you that you're guilty, and then either lock you up or, you know, take you out the way of Thanos. And I think it's kind of crazy, but I will admit, if we had something like this for rude guests or rude customers, I think the world would be a much better place. And that's just my personal opinion. So this is mostly a nostalgic episode. You know, we're seeing Loki actually see his other self go through and actually discover his own mortality, right? And it's so interesting to see like Loki actually have tried to escape from this place. And it's crazy how we see Infinity Stones being used as paperweights. But I also love when they did a flashback of Loki uh, being D.B. Cooper. And I think that scene was just hilarious. Because if you know the history of that situation, you know they never found the guy after he jumped out the plane. And all they found was the money. Like, rolls of money and they think he died. So I'm gonna accept this into my own personal history that D.B. Cooper was actually Loki and he just lost the bet to Thor. I think this show is gonna act as a redemption arc for Loki, right? You know, I think it's gonna be really interesting to see how Loki goes to navigate this place, you know, where there is no magic. Hopefully he can use his magic, use his skills, because that's what makes Loki really cool, right? But I also think that, you know, we're gonna get some more like cameos from other people in the Marvel Universe. I, I don't know why, but I think Kang the Conqueror is gonna be in this. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to have a time show without Kang the Conqueror, right? You know, I, I just think you should introduce that character. But they also did say he's going to be introducing Ant-Man and Wasp, the Quantum or whatever. I don't really care about Ant-Man and Wasp. But besides that, I think it honestly was a bang up first episode. Like, I think the first episode was like the best first episode of all the Marvel shows. And I'm curious to see where it goes. So, what do you think about the first episode? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Um, did you think they gave us enough? Do you think they left us hang on information? Let me know what you feel in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Bearded Blurred on YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. All right, thanks for watching. Wow.